Hello! In today's review, we'll demonstrate how to test a capacitor with a multimeter. For the initial visual check, we recommend that you read an article on our website. So, let's start by checking electrolytic capacitors of 220 and 1000 microfarad for breakdown. Before you connect capacitors to a multimeter, be sure to discharge them so as not to damage the device itself. You can use a regular screwdriver. The main point is that the multimeter will charge the capacitor with its battery. When the capacitor is charging, the current value is decreasing, while resistance is increasing. When the capacitor is charged and operates properly, current should be zero and resistance should be equal to infinity, which corresponds to unit value on the multimeter display. Resistance should be growing gradually without surges. With high-value capacitors, it's better to conduct a multimeter by the test. Their charging will take a while, and it's better to check continuity to avoid waiting. Let's show clearly what the multimeter shows, if the capacitor has a breakdown. The capacitor resistance is equal to zero. While being checked for continuity, the multimeter will beep similarly to when it notifies of a short circuit. A non-polar capacitor is checked the same as the polar one. The only difference is that it's not necessary to observe the polarity of connecting probes and measure at maximum ranges of resistance. When measuring resistance, it's a good idea to use an analog multimeter. The display of a digital multimeter showed a chaotic change in numbers when the resistance increased. When using an analog device, it is possible to study the gradual charging process in detail. If the capacitor works fine, the arrow of the multimeter should first deviate to zero and approach infinity in the process of charging. It is better to check the capacitor with a multimeter that has a capacitance measurement function. It can be used to determine the degree to which the capacitor loses its properties to accumulate charge according to its rating. Let's check the 4700 microfarad capacitor following the polarity of connecting probes. Permissible deviation is no more than 30%. Do you remember our capacitor with a breakdown, which was detected by a conventional multimeter? For clarity, we will show what multimeter will display when measuring capacitance. As with measuring resistance, the value is equal to infinity. The next step is to test identical polar 6800 microfarad capacitors from the same board. First of all, we observe deviation of capacity from its rating value, as well as uneven charge accumulation. Therefore, we recommend checking capacitors in devices from time to time, since they have the ability to dry out. To further test the capacitor, the LCR meter is used. It can be used to determine the growth of parasitic value, such as ESR. Let's test the 100 microfarad 63 volt capacitor. To check the received ESR value, you can use the ESR value of an identical new capacitor. We use special lookup tables. According to Bob Parker's table, our capacitor is okay.